Is your headlight LED yellow or burnt out? I'm going to teach you here how to dismantle the bumper and headlight of the car, okay? For those who don't know, it is necessary to remove the bumper to be able to remove the car's headlight. So this video here deserves a like right now, as it is one of the only channels that goes through all the work of dismantling a complete bumper, show you step by step, show all the keys, show how you do everything in full, in full from beginning to end to you to really show all the content step by step even if you have an Audi or a Volkswagen and want to learn about coding we have the best coding content the best course the only coding course in Brazil with more than 400 video lessons and with more than 30 hours the first links are here in the description so moving on let's go to the video let's see how we disassemble the entire headlight step by step let's try out this headlight here in its entirety for your beauty Come on guys, good guys. Starting here, right? The disassembly. So the first thing you'll have to do is remove the three screws from the grill, for those who don't know. This is part of the grill. Yes, so here you'll use a Torque wrench T30, okay? And you're going to loosen these three screws. I'm going to leave them. I've already loosened them a little because I was going to disassemble them to film for you. So it makes it easier, right? Quickly, here's the work for everyone right both for you to watch and also to be able to disassemble it to show you okay so we're going to have to disassemble this here both to change the grill in case someone wants to change the grill and also in case someone else wants to remove the car's headlight right so I can do some maintenance on the car's headlight so I'm going to finish loosening these three top screws here that you saw here's a t30 okay a torx t30 that you will need to be able to do this disassembly if the video is long i'll go ahead and let you know so let me get another wrench here for us so we can go ahead here including this key here that you see in my hand it comes original to the car Audi already sends you this key so to recap on top of the grill we have three screws one here one next to the opening lever the hood and one here this is the first part the second part that you will have to remove is down here in the car okay under the bumper you will have three screws one screw is located here one screw is located here one right in the middle of the car and one there on the other end okay so there's one on each end and one right in the middle of the bumper so we can remove it continuing in the sequence now we only have two more screws so we can remove the complete bumper okay so let's go and so we can also have access to the headlight so here here's the wheel here's the side we have to remove the screws from the mud guard so it's a t25 torque you'll have to remove one two and three he removed these three here on the bumper you can see that at the tip of it there is this hole here exactly because there is a torx t25 screw here You're going to have to move this to the side here. You're going to release this T25 Torx. Okay, guys? So you can pull and release the side latches here on the bumper. Okay? So loosen this side screw here. It comes from the bottom up and moves the bumper away. Pull it to the side and it comes out. Okay? And from now on, the bumper is practically completely loose. It's just... Pull it and the entire bumper comes off.
example, now that we've removed the bumper, we're going to remove the headlight so we can show you. Okay, so the headlight so that it can be removed, we have three screws. We have this screw here, this screw here, and this screw here. Okay, so these are the screws that we have to loosen, right? In this case, this one, this one here, and this one at the bottom. I loosened all three. The headlight comes out in one piece, so I'm going to loosen it. It's a T30 torque wrench that you'll need to remove it while removing the headlight now, right? Then loosen the screws that I told you. That's all we have to do. We pull it and it should come out, right? The only thing I think we'll have to loosen the plugs before. I think the plugs don't give us space to remove it, right? Without loosening the plugs, apparently. Here's the headlight removed. Curious that in the lighthouse, from what I'm looking at here, One of the things that I find interesting is that it has like a drain here on the side, a little hose to drain the water, you know, in case water enters or if it gets stuck in the back here, you know, we have the xenon, right, the xenon reactors here. The two reactors, the little drain that I told you about, the drain that I told you about, the two reactors here, the electronic regulation, right? Of it, and what I wanted to find here, in this case it was the question of here for those who have never seen what it's like inside. inside look the lamps they are completely inside the headlight for those who have never seen it so we have this cover that we fit and lock it in here okay we have the other one that we fit and lock here also this one where we have the other plug Here's the gear plug, right? The main plug that comes in the headlight. Here are the covers and the ballast that come on the outside. Well, I'm going to reassemble the headlight back to the place where it came from, which is where it has to be, right? Well, I'm going to attach this screw again, that screw at the bottom and this one at the top. Well, now I'm going to reassemble it. So the first thing is to plug in the headlight, right? We fit the bumper back in, so I'm going to film it here for you and I'll show you, well, pre-fitted bumper back in place. Now we're going to start, right? Placing the screws to secure it well. Well, the first step we're going to do in reassembly is to use these screws that have this big washer to hold them here at the top. Okay, always reminding you that it's not necessary to tighten these screws 100%. Okay, first we're just going to do O.
Fit them right. You're only going to fit them here so that the bumper doesn't come out of place. But we're only going to tighten them when we've 100% finished placing all the screws. Right? In all the places. Remembering that this is a torque T25, T30 okay, so I'm not going to tighten until the end. I'm just going to put them in place here. And I'm only going to tighten them when I've finished 100%. Right when installing everything, reminding you when you are going to install a tip for you. The tip is as follows, that here in this area here, you will see, you will push with your leg and the grill. It goes forward and backwards. You see there is a gap. Here you have to push this whole piece back so it stays glued so that the bumper stays. Is everything okay? Well, moving on from there, we've already placed these screws on the top. Now we're going to put the screws on the ends of the bumpers. Okay, so I'm going to put them here and I'm going to film them for you. Well, now here on the edge of the fenders, right? With the fender fitted perfectly, you can see, let me even shine some light here so you can see the fender fitted perfectly, right? Leaning side by side. Oh, here too. We're going to insert the screw, the one that goes from the bottom to the top right here. Since I only have one hand, let me try to push it here to show you. Right now it's easier to show you. Follow the line here. Here's where you'll put the screw that goes from bottom to top and tighten it. In this case it's a torque. It's a T25, so you're going to use a T25 wrench to tighten it. Bring the wrench here from bottom to top and then you'll tighten this screw because it's pulling this edge here. See this gap? It's pulling it up. Its purpose is to lift the bumper, so I'm going to tighten it here. Then we'll continue. Now we're going to move on. We've already tightened all the side screws and now we're going to tighten the screws at the top. But always remember that we have to push the grill back. So as I'm alone, I'm going to push the grill backwards with my body to make it lean. You should always tighten these top screws. Now only the fender screws are missing, the ones at the bottom there. Finally to finish up, the last three screws here are on the mudguard. This is the first, second and third. Just tighten these three and it's done. The final result after assembly as I told you earlier is that you have to press it very well. These are the three screws at the top of the grill, finalized around the headlight. It's a perfect fit, which is very important. The side should have no gaps, no creases. As you can see, it fits super well here. It's nicely fitted. There isn't even space to put a fingernail here or anything like that. So, that's how it's assembled. To summarize, there are the top three screws, the screw from bottom to top, here on the edge, and the screws. The screws are located under the bumper. This video deserves a like since it's one of the only channels that does the complete job of dismantling a bumper, showing each step, showing all the tools, showing you how to do everything from start to finish. Even if you have an Audi or a Volkswagen and you want to learn about coding, we have the best coding content, 
the best coding course in Brazil with more than 400 video lessons and over 30 hours. The first links are in the description.